Welcome, Leo, to your beginning of the month reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Thank you for your energy, what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Let's see what's for Leo. coming out. Oh, foolish act. Feels like somebody around you is escaping responsibility, acting like a fool, acting like they don't care. Um, could be trying to blindside you with certain um, behaviors is what it really feels like. Okay, let's see what's going on. Clarifying on the fool. Giving you challenging times. Okay. So, challenging times. Straight into the present over here is win or lose. And the recent past, you had success and growth. That's good. And time to shine. So, there's kind of two messages coming out over here, Leo. Um, Clarify on the success and growth over here in the recent past, because it does feel like you have a lot of success and growth going on within your life, um, and it does feel like you're taking on a lot of responsibilities, and then all of a sudden in the present, someone is not taking on responsibilities. Finding balance. Okay. So I just feel like you're trying to find balance within this other person. Maybe this is the person, it feels like the person who's trying to act like they don't care as you're putting in all this hard work for your success and growth. And it feels like you have had a lot of success and growth within the recent past over here, um, but you're still trying to find balance within this person. So it causes a challenging time. Um, so I do see that it's because you're putting in all the time and effort over here and then trying to put in all the time and effort over here, which challenges you. Um, and I do believe it's this person over here who's kind of acting a fool. Um, we have the win or lose. So it's kind of like there's no win or lose situation over here. I just feel like they're kind of um, making you believe that they don't care about something. Um, and you're just kind of blowing it in the wind right now because it's just a challenge to try to get them to open up. Yeah, it's kind of a challenge to get to be successful. Yeah, I just feel like you need to open them up and uh, it just feels like they're not opening up to you. They're, it's almost like they're wearing a false mask, trying to make you believe that they don't care about you or the situation, causing drama. Um, it could even be kind of drama filled. Um, maybe it's not even 100% drama. It just feels like a little bit of drama because maybe you know they're, they're acting um, crazy and you're like, oh, okay, so you don't care about that? Oh, okay. And then they kind of bring it um, to like, no, I don't, right? Some kind of like teenage thing going on kind of sounds like. Um, and they're really trying to take control of this situation. Could be dealing with a Capricorn over here. Because um, I see you as the Leo over here trying to get this to work. But they're acting very childish and dramatic. Something of this nature over here. And causing imbalance and over here you're we're trying to find the balance and it doesn't feel like there was still any balance so um, but they are trying to take control maybe they're trying to take too much control trying to take the reins um, just in the area of acting like they don't care uh, who needs that much control right I don't care what you do right that type of scenario but making it very controlling um, to the point where you're just like whatever you're just waiting for the harmony and for them to release this attitude of I don't care. But in seriousness, they actually do care. Yeah. They're trying to escape responsibility and trying to escape this, this scenario. It's almost like I keep hearing, like, if I don't care, why should you care? But the crazy thing about it is whatever the situation is, though, Leo, they do care. It could be they act like they don't care that you're mad at them. They don't care that you 
or, you know, something of this nature. They want to act like they're, you know, kind of like they did something bad and you got mad at them and they want to act like, you know, maybe it was because, you know, they didn't take care of their response and they want to act like they don't care that you're upset with them, but they do care that you're upset with them. They do. Yeah, look at that. They wear their heart on their sleeve. They do care, right? They do care. It hurts them. It gets them inside their head with the Six of Swords. It makes them feel like the relationship is not going to go in the direction that is going in, but they're going to continue with this. I think the only way is because it helps them escape. If they act like it doesn't bother them that you're upset with them um, for not doing whatever, then they think that it makes it better. So they want to act like they just don't care about the situation. They think it's going to make them feel better. But does it really make you feel better? No. Yeah, it's one of those scenarios is like, I'm really upset that you did that you did this. I can't believe that you would do that. I need you to do this and that. And they're like, I don't care. Okay. So it really is a challenge, though, to get them to do something um, to make the situation and, you know, to having this, like, coming together. If they would just open up their emotions and say, you know what, I do give crap. I will get it done. I'm sorry that I did this. It would make everything better. But, no, they want to play this emotional game with you and act like they just don't give a crap about the situation, which just frustrate, frustrates you. And I want to say everyone, because I do believe that this goes down the row of not only frustrating you, Leo, but maybe other people around you. If it's someone at work who just acts like they just don't care and everybody's picking up the pace for them, it's going to end up frustrating everyone else. So it just feels like this becomes a roller coaster for not just you, but for a lot of other people involved, even if it's family members, right? <clears throat> But it says that in the, around Thanksgiving time, I'm going to say about the 22nd to the 25th, everything's going to be okay. It's almost like they're going to come back to you and they're going to say, okay, finally, I'm not going to challenge you anymore. Fine. Fine. They surrender. <sighs> could be your, ch your children. I, I see kids here. This could be a, ch a kid somewhere between the ages of teenagehood to a young adult for some of you. Um, but yeah, and they're finally becoming mature about the situation. They're actually surrendering to the situation and making now the situation find its balance so that it can shine, right? So now you actually feel happier. Fine. Finally, you're going to take the responsibility, two of wands, taking the responsibility, acting with maturity, growing up, could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Aries, This actually is the good, the best news that you've heard in a long time, that they're now finally going to live up to this pretending to not give a crap about doing their job right, about not doing their responsibilities or however it is, giving crap about themselves, you, the relationship, whatever it is. Um, but it opens the doorways for more communication between you and this person, allowing now the challenging times to flip because finally they're going to open up, finally going to open up to you to allow you to understand why they were so determined to make you believe and to make you see why they didn't want to give a shit. Why? Why did you work so hard to do such a thing? Because they didn't want, they didn't want to be this person in your eyes. Three of coins reflection. I didn't really want to be that person, but you wanted to see me as that person. You reflected that upon me, so I just took on with it. Well, what do you mean? It was there in front of your eyes. So even though they're kind of seeing it this way, they still don't 100% get it. Now, do they? What do you mean? I reflected it upon you as not seeing it. No, no, no. You showed me with the three of coins that you didn't care, right? So what they're trying, they're kind of pushing it to where they are <clears throat> surrendering to the idea, but yet they still don't really get it. But at least you feel more justified and things are coming now into balance. 
So I would have to say that the two most important cards to this is the challenging time and the balance because we see balance here, here, and here within the justice card. And this brings the relationship back to the balance. It makes everybody feel a little more stable and a little much better about the situation. And at least now you can go to work and feel like you don't have to worry about this. Okay. Now they're taking on the responsibilities that they need. But look, they're still a little childish, though, about the situation, right? So even though they can become the king over here and take on the responsibilities, they're, how do we put this? sort of kind of owning up to the, the thing, but they just don't really get it. So to, in your eyes, you're saying, yes, you matured to the situation of telling me this and that, but yet I still see some inner immaturity in you if you only see it from this perception because you're not getting the whole picture of yourself. So see, Leo, that's where the problem is going to be for you. But you're, it looks like you're just saying, okay, fine. You know what? That's fine. Thank you for, thank you for apologizing. Thank you for surrendering. Thank you for, you know, acting like you don't give a crap anymore. Thank you for coming to me with the news saying you would like to have this settled. Um, but I'm, it's, it's really saddening though, that you don't really see it uh, for the way it really, really was. Um, because I, you know, they're trying to say you put this kind of on them. So they said they didn't care. It's just, they're just showing their immaturity that they really don't have complete 100% um, maturity enough to get the picture, but you're just going to move on from it and just kind of let it die. Why are you going to let it die? Because they're, <laughs> they ain't going to get it. <laughs> they ain't going to get it. You know, it's just going to be one of those things that's going to make you scratch your head and go, are you freaking serious? Okay, fine. That's fine. Thank you for apologizing. Thank you for coming to me um, and at least seeing half your faults. So they're only getting half of it, right? They're not getting the big picture. So, but at least now you guys can move on and not have this challenging time anymore where they're going to sit over here and act like they just don't give a crap about anything, right? Because in the end, they were just end up more hurting themselves, as you can see here, they were hurting themselves more than they're hurting even you because they just got you over here just frustrated. But they're over here actually going, but I do care. They think I don't care. Ah, see, that's what it is, and that's what they're trying to tell you. But that's that wasn't the way it really was. It's uh, emotionally immature um, to think of such a thing. Okay, so it looks like you guys will work this out um, to the best that you can. Um, but... With the emotionally immature over here, they just cannot travel the way that you really wanted to have it justified. Because, like I said, they can only see it from one point of view. They're not getting it. It is. It's like almost like the, the glass is half empty, guys. Okay, on that area. That's why I was thinking it might be a... a it feels so young, right? Because it feels like something a teenager or a young adult would do. Okay. So take that how it resonates until next time. And have a... Blessed Thanksgiving, but I will see you for the shocker readings. Until then, bye-bye, friends.